Hello and welcome everyone. I have some exciting news. Right now I have the beta version of Pimax Play which includes the upscale mode. So I will do a short test because uh, the lack of time is an issue here. So, as you can see, I set the resolution to 100% native resolution without foveated rendering. And I will do Automobilista 2. First try with uh, native 90 hertz and native resolution. And then I will do the upscale version also with 100% native resolution. So. I will not record myself because it's not necessary for the for the test and it also eats a little bit of performance so that's that's a thing so yeah stay tuned very very exciting stuff all right native resolution oh yes Ah, oh, this is such a joy. I don't think that I'm getting... Oh, very aggressive AI. So, the image is very sharp. The image you know from the crystal when using the 4090 and 100% native resolution. I set everything to 100% in Pimax Play. Just a second, I will take a look, yeah. I'm in the... not exactly the sweet spot. So the 72 hertz mode would be the the best deal or lower the resolution to 80% or 90% and of course OBS like always is eating a little bit of performance so but this does look really good so I will just yeah <laughs> I'm so immersed Ah, and the M1, such a lovely car. Yes, come on, do it sideways. <laughs> okay. So, without Yeah, it is without OBS I would get stable 90 FPS. So this th this is the reason why most of the time when I'm recording I'm using the 72 hertz mode. And yeah, this is in the in the far distance this is really good. So there is very few flickering and yeah. I'm very, very satisfied with this, with this performance and the settings. So, yeah. But I will try the upscale now. All right, and the same test now with the 90 hertz upscale mode. Let's see. Yeah, this feels very smooth. Whoa, sorry. Okay, I see some... Oh, AI. You are very naughty. 
<laughs> oh my god. Okay, let me have a look at my controller. Yeah, like I thought. Wow, this is working. This is very smooth, so... Wow. Of course, it is not the same as with native resolution, but this is very impressive because I didn't change anything. It was just like switched on the upscaler and I'm getting a very good result here. So imagine if you're having like a 30, 70 and you can upscale the image. Very cool stuff here. And I think this would be very cool, like an experiment if people who are driving Automobilista 2 to test the game without telling them if the upscaler is switched on or switched off or just like do one or two laps and then again do one or two laps and then they have to choose which settings are better so right now <laughs> this is working very, very nicely. Unfortunately, I don't have time to test more. And I, and I wanted you to give just a very quick update. Wow. This is... I'm, I have to say, I'm really, I didn't thought that it worked so good. Because there are no, no, like weird artifacts or something. You know, when you're using like DLSS in performance mode, you get like very weird things. Not with every game, but of course I have flickering in the distance. But the image is, is clear, it's, it is very clear, so it's, it's sharp. There is no like, you know, I am tested the PSVR 2 uh, for a couple of hours and it always, because of the Mura, it always feel like there is some dirt on your screen or for me it feels like like looking at the screen but underwater so it's not this clear image it's always seems like a little bit foggy and even if this is now with the upscaler the result in my opinion is so much better so yeah good job I really like that because even if you have just a notebook you can now enjoy demanding games. I love it. So let's see. Yeah. I hope they will also bring the upscaler to the 120 hertz mode because this in my opinion this would be a benefit even for for high-end systems because with the upscaler and 120 hertz mode maybe i would prefer this one to the native uh, 72 hertz mode because the difference between the 72 hertz and 120 is is like really really great 
even for me because I'm not that picky with with um, refresh rate but yeah I can drive for hours in this game Scandinavian flick and yes okay that's it for now I have to catch a flight tomorrow and you will pretty soon know where I'm heading so yeah thanks for watching and see you in the next video goodbye